Capricorns, Cappies. Let's see what's going on for my Cappies. Hi, Cappies. So this week, Capricorns, is the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you for your likes, shares, and support. Thank you so much. Um, please remember to become a member of the channel because you guys get so much peeps. You have not, no idea what is going on behind the um, link. Um, please remember to share, share, share these videos. Let's see what is coming out for my Capricorn peaks. This week is the Wheel of Fortune and the energy of the Wheel of Fortune have to do with the energy from the 22nd until the 28th. So Capricorns, be aware, okay? What is coming out for the Capricorns? I see some deceptiveness at play okay and uh, i see you need to find balance because you see some deceptiveness at play and it has to do with the queen of wands whoever this person is i see that this person has placed you in some hardship and i see truths came out about this person who this person is and the lies and deceptiveness of this person and truth is coming out and i see a change is going to be coming up okay and uh, um what we see is that whoever this queen of wands is could be a family member or um yeah could be a family member so it could be um whoever this family member is i see is a karmatic issue between you and this family member okay so whoever this queen of wands is it's a family member and it's a karmatic issue but i see some deceptiveness at the play um, so you gotta be aware of what is transpiring. You guys have also the wheel of fortune and I see this wheel of fortune is bringing some of you Capricorn back a whole lot of money. Okay. So that is good. <sighs> Capricorn, your week is like, Oh, who is this person? God, uh, it's, it's, this, this is a, a, a woman 50 years or older, very deceptive woman, but it's a, it's, it's a family member, but I see whoever this person is and whatever this person I have done but let's look at the deceptiveness so, so I see that you turn your back on some horrible deceptiveness that was happening and transpire and you're like people get a life oh, seriously you're ending it you're ending it and you're moving on and you're like people get a life whoever and whatever that was transpiring you're like seriously get a life people okay so some of you could be dealing with an aquarian and an aries and you're like get a life okay i see you men are having some issues that you need to balance out men 50 years and older and it has to do with a pisces cancer a scorpion this person is coming up as your sister or as a relative or as your wife i see love is going to be offered um um um, to this fire sign person and I see they're going to be finding out uh, the deceptiveness of this fire sign person so whoever um, um, this fire sign person is I see some of you are offering love to this person or I see a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion is offering love to this person but um, there is some situation so let's see what's going on I see you have a lot of work to do and a lot of work is coming up and you have a lot of work to do Whoever this person is, there's a lot of work is coming up and you have a lot of work to do. I see you women 50 years and older is seeing the truth to some lies and deceptiveness of a fire sign man. And I see you show up this deceptive fire sign man for the lies and deceptiveness. I see truths are coming out. People are going to be finding out some deceptive play that has transpired. And I see the energy of the devil where people are finding out some horrible situation that has taken place. You young people, a transition is coming up for you young people. I see a balance is going to be coming in. So a cycle is going to be ending and this is good. Whatever that was transpired, I see a cycle is going to be ending. For all the people who were heartbroken, I see a cycle is going to be ended. So whatever the issue and the situation is and what is transpired, I see a cycle is going to be ended. Whatever the deceptiveness that was at play, a cycle is definitely going to be ending. Some of you are ending a relationship and whoever this person is that you're ending the relationship with, I see that um, it's as if you are, um, you know, you're ending this relationship because uh, um, you feel as if... Uh, 
this deceptive play that has transpired you are really ending it so some of you are offering a fire um, a fire sign woman some love but we're going to be seeing who this person is because uh, this person is really really deceptive whoever this person is is just a really horrible deceptive person whoever um is coming up okay so i don't know i i just have a feeling that whoever this person is you could um you're being offered love because you show up uh, a fire sign woman for who she is so deceptiveness is coming up with your business whatever is transpiring i see someone tried to deceive you and trying to find out something about your business and you're like listen you're for later goodbye whatever is transpiring it's like someone tried to contact uh, contact you that they're they are they want they want to do business with you and you see from the first time that a hey, no i see your fortune um there is a situation with you men i see that um you and your sister or you and your partner that is a pisces cancer scorpion um is going to be sharing your fortune i see an investigation is taking place against a young pisces cancer scorpion and the older fire sign woman because they realize the connection between these two people and the lies and the deceptiveness between these two people so who is this fire sign person and who is this knight um of cops they are seeing the truth um, and they're investigating this fire sign person and seeing the connection between a fire sign person and a young Pisces Cancer and Scorpion person. Then I see delirious because there's a lot of work. You guys are really having a lot of work to do. Um, however, this is happening and transpired. There is so much work. Um, I see so much, so much work. You're trying to figure out a way how you can, um, um, you know, deal with so much work that is coming in so this is good now you work in ladies i see you give up and uh, you give up you work in ladies um you young working ladies give up you're heartbroken because of a fire sign man whoever this fire sign man is has been very very deceptive and uh, you gave this person up and said that this person is a person that had transferred the money to me or this person is a person that has got me in the situation and i see you gave this person up i see and so-called friend whoever the so-called friend is you're going to be receiving some message from the so-called friend do not believe anything of this person whoever this person is don't believe a world this person is very deceptive who it could be a scorpion it could be an Aries and it could be an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. It is a deceptive person. This is a so-called friend. Okay. I see some of you are just open, especially you young Capricorn people are hoping to come out of a situation. Um, you're open for healing for a situation. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you just want to get out of a situation. Some of you are sad and the sadness is going to be over. Um, sad of uh, the ending of a relationship, sad that you haven't heard a, a, from a child, sad of a situation with a child, but this cycle is now over. Truths are coming out about uh, um, a cancer. Whoever this cancer is, I see truths are coming out. I see that a lawyer, whoever is a lawyer or an adviser um, or an accountant or someone, I see um, heartbreaks. So, for you because of some situation from the past that came back and affected you and i see heartbreaks is coming up uh, i don't know some of you have a young aquarian gemini or libra person and now i don't know about this person or it could be some news that is coming in, but it's seeing the truth about a young Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. It could be a Libran. Be careful of a Libran. Uh, a Libran. Be careful of a Aquarian and a Libran for some of you. Okay. Uh, be careful of this person. I don't know. I don't know. This, this person has some negative energy. Whoever this person is, uh, they have some negative energies.
But for the men who are married to a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, I see you're trying to balance out a situation, um, balance out some deceptive play. You're really trying to balance out a situation. However, this is transpiring. I see a relationship is coming to an end. Um, whatever is transpiring, there's definitely a relationship that is coming to an end. And I see um, there is sadness. There is sadness because of what is transpiring and this relationship is coming to an end. And I see you're seeing the truth. So a lot of you um, Capricorns uh, um, who are in relationship with a Cancer, this is ending. And it's sad for you. I see that you realize that it is best to end it because you have been trying to work on this relationship with this cancer and it's not working. It's really not working. I see a lot of you young um, people. A transition is going to be coming up for you. And I see some of you young people wish you hadn't got contact and involved with a, a old fire sign man. Whoever this old fire sign man is, you are so heartbroken because... Uh, Whatever has transpired, this old fire sign man could have given you some money that was not for you. It was for an old Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and get you involved with a situation. I see a lot of sadness. A lot of sadness is here. Um, a lot of issues and a lot of sadness that is here. I definitely um seen that sort of a thing. So be aware of that. So um there is um definitely um yeah i don't know there is there is a scorpion um a very deceptive scorpion whoever the scorpion is is very deceptive and i whoever the scorpion is is very deceptive and is using negative forces so be aware of this so, um i see people are going to be staying loyal um to some of you whoever has been loyal to other people i see they're going to be staying loyal to some of you but truths are just truths are coming out um some deceptiveness with your business is going on and i see you're just going to be it's like someone wants to come up and it's um oh um i want to know this or that or the rest of it and then you're going to be like realizing and just from the beginning just realize that hey i don't know i'm not feeling it for you okay so mountains i see the energy of the mountain so some of you are going to be feeling blocked in this week whatever is happening and transpiring some of you are going to be feeling extremely blocked in this week for whatever reason it is um it could be that you guys are thinking that you're being blocked but um let's see um what the energy of this and you young ladies are going to be um really sad okay so block with a relationship you're finding out something about a relationship okay so it could be family members you feel blocked with relationships you feel blocked with family members and it's as if you're carrying a burden okay um yeah it is as if you're carrying a burden so be aware of this whatever the hardship is at work it's like you guys have so much work and you are feeling delirious because there is so much work that is happening and transpiring is affecting the young um people who are at work this is really affecting the young um people who are work i see all of this is coming up and um, I see that it's, it's, it's as if some of you just want to release yourself and release yourself um, from all of these issues because you're having relation issues. Some of you are having issues at work. Some of you have so much to do at work. And whatever is transpiring with this um, situation at work, I see um, you're going to be getting like a whole lot of business is going to be coming in for some of you. Okay. But I see a lot of jealousy, a jealousy um, around you at work. So stay away from people because I see this sort of a jealousy is coming up and you're just turning your back on people and think, you know, grow up people, grow up. Um, whatever is transpiring, there is a lot of um, work that is going to be coming up for you guys. But if even you're not working, there's just a lot of st stuff that you have to get done. But I see that you're saying to some people, just grow up because you people need to grow up. 
I love you guys. I gotta go. So have a good week. Namaste.